When it comes to online shopping, how fast your site loads is super, super important. And it can mean the difference of a sale or someone instantly leaving your site. So in today's Shopify quick tips video, we are going to go over how to speed up your site pretty easily in the Shopify platform. So we've all had that experience before where we go to a shop, whether on our desktop or our phone, and it loads really, really slow. And the images are like slowly loading in, no matter how good of an internet connection you have, and you just leave because you don't wanna sit there and wait for the whole page to load. And this happens a lot and people are losing sales on their e-commerce store because of it. So you can actually see how your site is performing in terms of page speed inside your Shopify store backend. So to see how your site is performing, you'll just go to online store and themes, and you'll see that underneath your published theme. You can see there your speed score and how it compares to others in your industry as well as click to learn more about your page speed. So this is pulling in information from Google's page speed tool, and it gives you a lot of detailed information about your homepage, collection page, and product page, and how quickly that they're loading. And it gives you a score for each of these areas, so you know where you can see where improvements need to be made. Now, I will say that a lot of the things that they suggest aren't always possible to do. And this could be based on the theme that you are using for your Shopify store. A lot of themes have code that are in the actual theme itself to make different functionality things on the site work, as well as every time you add in an app from the Shopify app store, that's adding even more code into your theme. And so while the functionality of the app is nice, it can start to really bog down your site load time. So anytime you're adding in a new Shopify app, make sure that it's something that you actually really need. And I also recommend every few months just going through your Shopify app list and making sure that you're using everything fully and that you're still wanting to use that app and otherwise maybe just remove the app and the code from your theme. This will help speed up your theme overall. But again, it's a little bit less uh, that you can manage if you need that app for different functionality or you need the functionality that your site theme is providing you. You can't really change a lot there. But one of the things that you can change is your image sizing. And a lot of times when I'm going in to review different Shopify stores, I see that their images are just too big. And so the server is having to show these huge images, especially on mobile devices, and it's just taking really long to show that image. So you can actually go in and resize these images directly inside of Shopify. So to do this, you'll go to a product that you want to resize the image of, and you'll actually, once you upload the image to Shopify, you'll click to open it there. And then you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner, you have a couple different options. You can crop the image, you can draw on the image, and you can also resize the image there. So if your site uses zoom in techniques where you're actually able to kind of hover over the image and zoom in when you're on the product page, then I recommend going with the size of 2048 pixels. This would be for a square image, but it's a still good quality image size. It's gonna have a good zoom capability without being a huge file size. And if you don't have zoom in technology on your site, then I recommend going with about half of that for image size, so 1,024 pixels. Again, this is still gonna be a nice high quality image for your site, but it's not gonna just be this monster image that is really heavy on your site to load and slows down your site speed. Now that's for product images. Any other images that you have on your site, like your page images, or your homepage images, you would need to resize those before bringing them into Shopify. And that's gonna really depend on the image size that you need based on the theme that you're using. So look through your theme information there in terms of the size that is recommended for different areas like your homepage slideshow. And then you can use external tools like Adobe Photoshop or Canva.com, which is a free online tool and you can resize the images there and save them out so that way you're making sure that you're adding in the correctly sized images for each area of your site. 
once you go through and you resize these different images, you're going to have faster loading times for the pages and you're going to have happier customers and hopefully also maybe see an increase in sales, especially on mobile devices. So I hope you found this Shopify quick tips video helpful. If you did, we have more videos like this coming out every Tuesday all about Shopify. So make sure to check out the full quick tips video playlist over here and click that subscribe button yet if you haven't yet to subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.